In this Inkscape video, I'll be demonstrating how to make a shiny, glossy button with a bezel surrounding it, like the one shown here. I'll be using Inkscape version 0.48. I'm going to start by choosing the Rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. And I'm going to make sure that its color is set to black. And then I can use this little handle here to change the rounding of the corners. So I'm going to set it to about right there. And now I want to make a copy of this. And so I'm going to press Control D. And that's so that I can keep track of which is the copy. I'm going to change this to a green color. And then I'm going to go up to the Selection tool and press that so that I can get these sizing arrows that are shown here on the corners. And then I'm going to press and hold both the shift and the control key while I click on one of these corners here. And I'm going to drag this. I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. And when I hold both the shift and control keys while I do that, it'll move both the left and right side and the top and bottom, but it'll also do it proportionally. Okay, next I'm going to press Control D again to make another copy of this. And I'll change colors again so that I can keep track of which is the copy. And like before, I'm going to press the Shift and Control keys and hold those while I resize this. Okay, and then I'm going to press Control D to make another copy. And again, I'll change the color of it and I'm going to press and hold control and shift and I'm going to resize this okay I'm going to go ahead and change this one to the color black now this green one here I'm going to select that and then I'm going to choose the gradient tool so I'm going to click on this here and I'm going to make sure that I have the linear gradient set with this button up here. And now I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button while I drag. And with this handle selected right here, you can see it in, in blue. I'm going to make sure that that's set to the color black. And then I'm going to go up to the square handle, select that by clicking with the left mouse button. And I'm going to choose a gray color. Okay, now I'm going to go up to the selection tool and select this yellow rectangle that I have here. And then I'm going to use the gradient tool again. And this time I'm going to drag up. And like before, with this handle here selected, you can see it in blue, I'm going to select a black color. And then I'm going to go to the other square handle and select a gray color. And now I want to give this a little bit of a blur. And if you don't have the fill and stroke dialog box open yet, you can open that by going to the object menu up here and just select fill and stroke. Okay, I'm going to give this a blur of about 2%. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in here. And then I'm going to go up to the Selection tool again so that I can select this outer section right here. And I'm going to give it a blur of about 2% also. And now I have the background bezel. And next I'm going to create the shiny button part of this. So I'm going to select this center rectangle that I have here, this black one. And I'm going to press Control D to make a copy of it. And I'm going to change that color to red. And then I'm going to press and hold both the Shift and Control key. And I'm going to size down this copy just a little bit. And then I'm going to go over to the Gradient tool. This time I'm going to choose a Radial Gradient. 
and so I press this button right here and then I'll put my cursor on here press the left mouse button and drag and with this selected right here this blue handle I'm going to select the color black and then on this center square this handle it's already red so I'm done with that and then this handle here I'm going to grab it and just pull that up a little bit okay now I'm going to go back up to the selection tool so now with this selected I'm going to press Control D to make another copy of this and I'm going to change this copy to white and then I'm going to grab this handle right here this arrow and I'm just going to drag this up and then next I want to change the shape of this a little bit so first I have to change this shape into a path and I do that by going up to the path menu and say object to path and then I need to select the edit paths button here so I'll press that then I'm going to place the cursor right on the bottom of this white rectangle I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button while I drag this down and change the shape of it to about right there and now I'm going to go back up to the selection tool here and click that and then on this top arrow here I'm going to pull this down just a little bit by holding the left mouse button while I drag it and then I want to squeeze in both of the sides the left and right sides a little bit so I'm going to hold down the shift key while I move this arrow here on the left and holding the shift key lets me move, move both the left and the right side at the same time okay that looks good and then I'm going to select the gradient tool again and I need to make sure that this is set to a linear gradient so I'm going to select this button right here and then I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button and just drag this up and if I also press the control key I'll get a nice vertical line as I pull this up and then I also want to pull the bottom of this down a little bit further uh, to about right there and now I have a shiny looking button so the next thing I need to do is to add some text so I'm going to select the text tool here and I'm just going to type text and then I'm going to change the color of this to white and I'm going to use the selection tool to select this and then I'm just going to center this up then I want to add a little appearance of depth to this text and so I'm just going to press control D to make a copy of this and I'm going to change the copy to kind of a pink color then I want to move this copy of the text that I created just a little bit over to the right and a little bit down and I can make really small moves if I press and hold the alt key on the keyboard and then I use the arrow keys on the keyboard while I'm still holding the alt key I'll press the right arrow a couple of times and I'll press the down arrow a couple of times if I didn't press the alt key this would still move when I press the arrow keys but they would move a lot further distance and now I want to add a shiny effect to the top left side of the bezel like you can see right here so I'm going to select the bezier tool and I'm going to left click with the mouse left and release the mouse button and I'm going to drag this down here and click the left mouse button again and then I'm going to go back up to the top and click in the starting point again with the left mouse button and then next I want to select the edit nodes tool 
I'm going to place the cursor in the middle of this line and press and hold the left mouse button while I drag this up. And then I want to go down and change this color to white. And I also want to remove the border or the stroke around this. And so I can go over to the Fill and Stroke menu, make sure that I have the Stroke tab selected, and I'm just going to click this X right here, and that will turn off the border around this. And then I'll go back over here and left click the middle of this section here and drag that up a little bit. Okay, now I want to add a gradient to this. And so I'm going to select my gradient tool. And I want to make sure that I have the linear gradient selected. And then I'll try to click in this white section here, press and hold the left mouse button while I drag this down. And now I've given this top left hand corner kind of a shiny appearance. Now the final thing that I want to do is just to take this white area here that I use for the shine on the button and I want to move that to the top and I can do that by pressing this button right here which is move to top and now I've got this on top of the text. So this is the finished shiny glossy button with a bezel surrounding it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment. And if you found this video useful, then please subscribe. Have a great day.